Danny Sport here. I'm so glad that you are here because I am going to help you level up. So this month, the month of October, is all about um, things that I'm getting from this book, You Owe You, by none other than Dr. Eric Thomas. So first off, I'm so excited. So when I first started to get a little sneak peek of what was going to happen in this book, I was in the car line waiting to pick up my kindergartner and you guys like i'm so excited about what i'm going to be able to share with you based off my life experiences and the information i found out of this book based on eric thomas's personal life experience so if you're ready to jump in let's do this so for today today's level up topic is all about purpose and it's about you living on purpose. So I don't know about you guys, but when I first started on my journey, and even as I continue, it's always about purpose. So when you first start out, you're trying to figure out your purpose. And then when shift happens, you know, when things change, it's almost like you're trying to find your purpose again. So no matter where you are on your journey of finding your purpose, I have something that's going to help you figure all the, those things out. So I really just have three things to share with you guys because I like to keep it short and sweet. So first thing I want you to do is to stop trying to live in your purpose per se, because I really felt like that is just kind of crazy to say. And let me explain. If you are living in your purpose, how do you do that if you don't even know how to get there? You know, how do you get to that point where you can live in your purpose, right? So instead of trying to live in your purpose, start with living on purpose. So what do I mean by that? So if you're going to live on purpose, what you need to do is start doing things in a specific way. For example, do you. And when I say do you, like I'm, I don't mean it like the other people out there, like, oh, they're going to do that. I'm just going to do me and I'm not going to care. No, that's not what I mean. Like be who you are authentically because you are who you are for a reason. Nobody else can be like you. You, my friend, are not a carbon copy. I'm not you're not, neither one of us are. So when you go out there, start thinking about things that actually light you up. That, like learn about yourself. Like that's the best thing you could ever do for yourself because when you go out there and do things and try things, that's how you learn about yourself and that's how you live on purpose. And honestly, while you're living on purpose, you're going to also be out there making mistakes. And what I want you to do with those mistakes are embrace them. Embrace those mistakes because those mistakes are what are going to help you to truly level up. So just to, you know, clarify, I want you to stop trying to live in purpose and I want you to live on purpose make mistakes, keep doing it again, because that's what great entrepreneurs, that's what great people, people who succeed, that's what they do. So the next one is, I want you to stop trying to live up to other people's expectations for you. So what in the world do I mean by that? So a lot of people are going to have specific expectations for you. And I'm going to be honest, when I first started school i remember my dad was talking about how nursing was such a great career you know there's great money in it and all this stuff so guess what i did i decided to go to school for nursing and guess what i failed with flying colors yes i did <laughs> i failed with flying colors um but that's because i was there doing something that i didn't want it wasn't that he was trying to force his expectations on me because i love him and I wanted to be, you know, great. I wanted to be a good child to him, a good daughter to him. I was like, okay, I'm just going to go be a nurse. But with you, my friend, I want you to specifically start thinking about what you are expecting of you. You start creating those expectations for yourself and don't let anyone else create those. Like, yes, you can listen to opinions, but you truly, like I said before, when you're living on purpose and learning about you, you're truly going to have to be able to get to that point where you're going to say, oh, those expectations aren't realistic for me. And if people, because I know there's some out there that would do this, they're going to be so adamant about the fact that whatever they're, they're saying is 
you know, you can't change it. It's there. What they're saying is right, you know, and that's okay. But you have to live your truth. So do not accept anyone else's opinions or whatever you want. Their facts, <laughs> you know, um, don't live up to their expectations because their expectations of you um, are not yours to to create and cultivate. You get to decide. So here's just something that is a good example for me. So I was in the car listening to, I believe it was a song that was on the soundtrack of Turning Red. And the crazy part about this was the guy was like, in the song, you're never not on my mind. Oh my, oh my. Like it was all about the other person. And I started to realize that culture is pretty much teaching us, is molding us to be everything that we can be for somebody else. Like we're never really taught how to be all that we can be for us. Like you're important. I'm important. We're important. So walk through today knowing that you're important and then wake up, go to sleep first off and know that you're important. Say to yourself out loud, don't just listen to me say, you can say it right now. Say, I am important because you are. And then when you go to sleep, say it again. When you wake up, say it again. And then on top of that, make sure that you are grateful because gratitude is what opens up the door for more blessings to come down, believe it or not. And you can even be grateful for the things that are already here, like literally. So another part of living on purpose, in my opinion, you can decide it works for you or you can decide it doesn't work for you. What did I just say? Do not just take someone else's expectations of you and put them on yourself. But you can take opinions and facts from around you and decide if that's going to fit your expectations for yourself, right? So what I would do when it comes to living on purpose is simply enjoy the journey. So when you're out there enjoying your journey, you're just going to do things in a way that might actually seem weird to other people. Other people are going to look at you and they're going to be like, what is she doing? Why is she doing that? <laughs> and for you, you're going to be like, I'm just living my life. Like, this is what I do. This is what I love. So go out there, enjoy the journey. The journey is going to actually be the best part. Most people believe that when they get something, that's when they're going to be happy. But the happiness starts within your journey right now. So if you are happy right now, once you get to that place in life and start getting those things, you're going to be more appreciative of them. And not only that, you are going to leave the kind of legacy that you want. That's how you live on purpose. And on top of that, as you are enjoying that journey, guess what's going to happen? People around you are going to be influenced. So like I said before, like what I'm doing right here, yes, I love this. Like this is me. <laughs> this is all me, but I'm doing this also for you all because you are important. And if I can leave you with anything else today, I want you to allow your gift to make room for you because I believe it was Myron Golden. I'm going to pull it up on my iPad right here. Myron Golden, um, said a statement that was like so profound and it's about of course living in purpose and he was saying that your purpose um, is to live in your creative space so that you can make the world a better place so if you are all about truly enjoying your journey living on purpose then it's all about finding that area that you are comfortable in and not necessarily like oh comfortable but like a space that's all you, it's you, right? Because I'm a believer and we know that, believers know that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. So if you are doing something and it just feels like it's super overwhelming, then guess what? His yoke is easy and his burden is light. So I'm not saying that it's not gonna be work, it's gonna be some work, but if it's not easy and light, then it's not him. If you feel like you almost have to break your back, you're losing sleep, you're stressed all the time, then that's not the way you're, you're supposed to do it. Either that's not what he wants you to do or you're doing it the wrong way. <laughs> so that's why I say live on purpose. And, and a lot of the stuff I say, I always talk about learning 
about who you truly are. So this week, I know you're ready to level up. So as you get ready to level up, don't forget the three things I want you to do. I want you to first live on purpose. And then I want you to make sure that you're not living in anyone else's expectations for you. And last but not least, enjoy the journey. And I cannot wait to see you level up. I will see you next week. Thanks so much for watching. And as I always say, stay peaceful, positive, and productive. I'll see you next time.